What's up everybody? Coach Malik here. Today we're going to go over warm-ups for chest day. I know a lot of you guys have been asking Malik, there's a whole bunch of leg day workouts out there. Can you do an upper body warm-up day? So today is going to be for chest specifically. Um, and these are the, the warm-ups I'm doing through the whole bigger bench series. It's what I do usually for my bench workouts. Any other chest workout, chest push. So do these next time you're gonna do bench, chest, maybe even shoulders, any push movement. This day, this video is perfect for you. So the first thing I like to do, like I said in the last video, I like to move when I warm up. I don't like to like stand in some static, you know, hold for 20 seconds. I like to move. So first thing I do is just push-ups on the bench, just get my shoulders warm, kind of, and then when you're doing this, doing the push-ups on the bench, focus on what feels good for you, what feels normal when you're pressing, because that same movement of the push-up is gonna be the same movement you wanna do on the bench press. So I'll explain a little bit more. So get on the bench, back straight, tummy tight, come down, press out, come down. I usually like to hold it for a little bit, so when I press, it's all the force. Come down, pause, press, down, pause, press. Now for me, this, is, this feels the most normal. If I'm in here, it feels a little bit less normal. If I'm way out here, less normal. So I try to find that, that nice normal spot for that. That's number one. Number two, these are called Superman push-ups. So Superman push-ups are gonna be great for your rear delts. For your rear delts, it's gonna be good to activate those before you push, kind of get that opposite muscle working. And then these are great, I would do about five to 10 reps of each. So you're coming down, doing a push-up, Superman, Push up. Superman. Push up. Superman. Push up. Again, those are great for your chest workouts. It's gonna activate your back. I recommend doing about five of those, ten of those. Right from there, I do push ups. Coming down. Push. Down. As you see, my chest hits the ground. Push. Push. Again, I'm feeling that normal. What feels normal for me? What feels normal for my body? The next exercise is I grab two light, whether they be plates, dumbbells, doesn't matter. You wanna grab two, about five pounds, maybe 10 pounds. And you wanna stretch out your chest by doing the lateral, lateral twist here with the shoulder. So what this does, is it open up my chest. And what that weight does is it gives it a little bit more resistance, gives it a little bit more push. If I was just doing this with my hand, I'm not really getting much, you know? So I add the weight, one. I'm gonna try to stretch it out, 10 of those. After 10 of those, what I like to do is get a little bend and get lateral raises, all right? Lateral raises. Let's see this way. Lateral, what this will do is it will activate the top of your shoulder, getting all these ligaments warm. So when you press, you know when you press, you get kind of like achy here in your shoulder and you get that little sharp pain. That will take away from that. So it'll warm everything up, get the blood flowing in your shoulders and help out with that pain. The last one I do with these light ones, last one, Front raises, come all the way to the top, down. Now on this one, here's a little tip on this one, is when you get to the top, extend your hands. So you come here, extend. That's gonna activate, extend. I'm not just throwing them up here like this, I'm extending at the top. But what that does is it'll and I'll stretch out the lat, activate the lat, which is really good for the bench because you all want something, you want a good base when you're, when you're benching. So another good thing to do in between bench press sets, like I showed you last video, are bent over dumbbell rows, things like that, maybe lat pull downs to activate that back so that you have a good base for when you bench press. So those are good things. The last two things that I would recommend for warming up for chest day is just the bar. So just do like simple reps, just do reps, feel out your body, feel out how you feel for that day, and just do about 10, 20, 30 reps on the bar. Just really try to get that blood flowing. So here, try to get good form. I'm pretending like there's weight on it. And everything else is the exact same. So maybe I'll start with four. four or five pauses, and I'll go really quickly. And then after five pause, quick reps, I'll just go get the blood flowing.
and do about 10 reps of those. So that's a really good one. And then the last thing I would do for warm up maybe is with a band. I had them earlier. Our rear delt flies with the band. You can do them with light weights too. So if you don't have a band at your gym or at home, again, yeah, grab these light weights, bend down about 90 degrees when your back's parallel to the ground. And you wanna do rear flies, rear delt flies. Again, if you have a band, you could use the band as well. Pretty much what that's gonna help, again, help that rear delt get activated. So when you're pressing, your front muscles aren't the only ones activated. That's how you get injured. That's how you have a higher risk of injury is when you're push, push, push. You don't work those weird muscles that much. I know a lot of guys do that. I know a lot of guys are watching this video. So you guys pay attention. If you have shoulder injuries, you have shoulder pain, work the rear delt, all right? Just make sure when you're doing the bench press, you work those rear delts. You do that warm up, and I promise you it's gonna help you out with performing better, lifting more weight during your workout, and being able to work out your chest for longer. Hope you enjoyed that, hope you liked it. If you have any questions you want me to answer on the next video, comment below or email me, malik at scfit.com. Hope you guys enjoyed, and remember, be certain in yourself, be certain in your talents, and be consistent in your actions. Consistency is key. Peace.